before we leave the last one, and this is, um, I, I was very curious about this. Um, I, I, I wrote a very passionate um, post a few days ago on uh, on expressing ourselves uh, on on social media platforms like LinkedIn, right? Um, so as 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 anybody who is passionate about their field and profession, it's very hard to hold on to. You'd like to share, you'd like to collaborate, you'd like to get feedback from yeah. from your peers, from your community. Uh, however, as you grow up the ladder in an organization, you also are self-aware of how you are being perceived in the organization of oversharing what you think, coming across. So the people, the, the best, um, the best thing, most execs resort resort to is to be silent because there is there is mystery in your silence and you don't uh, <laughs> you 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 preserve your uh, that mystery and your aura right just by being non-existent on, on social media uh, but that is not me I am naturally somebody who shares everything that is running in my mind and I see that I draw so much inspiration from you that you are able to do that. So my question to you is a very sensitive topic. How do you manage perception within your company when you are sharing your uh, your opinions, your day to day work, your product thinking on LinkedIn prolifically? Yeah. So listen, Ravi, I'm very similar to you. I <laughs> just share what's on my mind. I prefer to be as transparent as possible um, uh, because I, I find useful conversations come out of it. Right. Because I never assume that what I say is is right even, by the way, I actually often I find that I want people to provoke the thinking and, uh, and, and come up with different points of view. And I find as ideas come together and merge, you know, better ideas come out of it. So I'm very much like you. I'm really lucky, firstly, I have to say. I work at a company, Airbase, which, is, uh, which has been very supportive, quite frankly. You know, I was able to talk to Tejo, my, the CEO and the PR team, and I said, yeah, go for it, no problem. Uh, you know, be careful of a couple of things here and there. So they've been very supportive. Um, and, uh, and you know, there's a couple of things where they've probably told me, hey, Chris, maybe maybe don't say so. Don't be that transparent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, <clears throat> and um, uh, saying all of that, I am very, very conscious that anything that I say can be taken and used against me. And, right. and more importantly, quite frankly, is Airbase. I don't want to say anything that puts uh, Airbase in a in a tenuous position. So right. what I'm trying to do when I share is one is partly just share my thoughts, share my learnings. Um, <clears throat> I actually want to also share vulnerabilities. You know, like there are certain things I don't know, and mm. I want to put it out there. Like it's you know uh there's a perception that i i guess someone in an executive position they they know all they are the all-knowing iosaurus and know everything right well mm -hmm. that that's not the case let's be very clear about that um and sh share that um but as we discover things because you know one thing is in this space we are all learning this space is moving so fast by its right. very nature Right. None of us know everything because exactly. this stuff is changing all the time. Right. So people really value that feedback. And I think good ideas come out from that sharing. Right. Um, actually, so my team, no, I say my team, everyone at Airbase, it's funny, half the conversations I have with my team come out of those posts. They, they're actually <laughs> interacting with me in Slack and say, Chris, about this post, you know, actually, it's like this. And have you thought about blah, 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 blah. I like, Actually, that's great. <laughs> so, uh, ironically, those external conversations that I'm having, um, a third of them, I would say, turn into internal conversations. Believe it or not, um, and and they tend to be quite healthy conversations. Oh. I find. Okay, what about so should should you ignore everything, all the other noise? Like, hey, the perception is also important, right? It's not about whether you are politically correct, whether it is damaging the reputation, but it's about the perception. Are you coming across as a smart aleck on social media? Okay, who knows a lot of things and stuff like that. Um, so do you want to also elaborate on that a bit, on, on the perception of uh, how you come across as an individual? Yeah, and you talk about internally and externally? Yes, internally more, externally. Internally, not... okay. Internally, um internally put it this way ravi i haven't had 
but bar maybe two cases i haven't had much negative feedback at all internally and again maybe i'm lucky i don't know but um uh i have had uh quite the opposite people telling me you know thank you for sharing kind of your thinking and your thoughts because again it's more about the transparency of process right because sometimes i'm just sharing hey you know had a meeting with sales this is kind of what came on the back of that learned quite a few things here um and and that tends to be appreciated uh more than anything um so yeah in in my case maybe i'm maybe i'm an isolated case but i i haven't had much pushback at all actually internally so, again like so, i say just a couple of minor cases uh to, but that's it to your credit to creators like you to share to people who share like you for me linkedin is a place of massive learning it is it it, it is positioned as a networking professional network space but it is a learning space it is a a bigger learning space than any other training school that you can sign up for because i sign up i follow people like you um, veterans from from the space that i want to learn i follow up and then the entire field becomes a learning platform for me and it is because of people like you who share the rest of the world benefits right so instead of this perception war we should be encouraging across organizations absolutely make, make this the norm and there should not be even an iota of taboo or people should not be thinking twice how am i being perceived what uh, should i share i share 10 things and i delete eight things immediately because i just i just self self doubt yeah. myself and second guess myself saying that how how am i being perceived and stuff like that so um uh, thank you <laughs> for for sharing that i would encourage you to sh- to make that not eight you remove try and bring it down till it's zero because uh people really value it and uh, i think there are probably more people internally that value it than you may realize um mm-hmm. and you should let those voices shine um so i would actually stretch the boundaries a little bit uh because it shows value to Uh, to your team to you personally you gain a lot out of it because i find i'm learning whenever i do this uh, half of it's just me learning um and you know one side benefit is okay a little bit of exposure for your company as well but i think it's much more about that earnings excellent